Hello, my dear students. How are you today? I will be talking about how to simplify fractions. Simplifying fractions is simple if you know about the multiplication table. But I'm going to assume you don't know about the multiplication table. That's how I'm going to proceed. Now, let's uh, look at the three fractions here. We have 3 over 4, 36 over 48, 72 divided by 96. So, those are three different fractions. Let's just go ahead and calculate. Let's write down 3 divided by 4. Let's see what we will get. We will get 0 0.75. Let's write that down. 0 0.75. So, you do 3 divided by 4. You will be getting 0 0.75. How about the other one? 36 divided by 48. 36 divided by 48. That's equal to also 0 0.75. How about 72 over 96? 72 over 96. That's also 0 0.75. In other words, the three different fractions you are looking at they are the same number, same things. It's just that this one has very big numbers. 72s, 96. This one has mediumish numbers. But this one has simple numbers. And since they are all equal, they are all the same numbers, I like to see this one instead of that. Instead of definitely that, that's a big number. That's where the simplification becomes. When you see a fraction, is it the simple version? When you look at it, is it the one like this? No, let's turn that into this. So we will be using the simple numbers and think about this fraction in simple way. So let's just go ahead and see how we're going to get from 72 over 96 from there to there let's go ahead and talk about it 72 divided by 96 first of all what you need to do is write down the top one or the bottom one doesn't matter one of them in a fraction in a multiplication so you can cancel them out of it so let's look at the multiplication table. I am looking at 72. 72. 72. I see it here. And I also see it here. And I also see it here. And I also see it here. And you don't have to locate all of them. Okay. So you just have to make it as a multiplication, just one of them. So I'm going to pick up randomly here and I'm going to pick up this one. So let's clear the rest. You could choose the other one. Doesn't matter which way you go. So I'm going with this one. So how do you get 72? According to this, if I do nine times. 8, I will be getting 72. Let's go ahead and write that down. 9 times 8. 9 times 8 will give me 72. So my job here is to write down that number, 96, as the multiplication of 9 if possible. If not, I'm going to write that down as multiplication of 8. One of those. So let's start with 9. 9. Can I get 96 from multiplication table of 9? There are two ways to do this. Either look at the multiplication table. If you know it, that's great. But if not, look at the multiplication table of 9. Multiplication table of 9. Do I have 96? I have 90. I have 99. I don't have 96. So that's one way. And the other way is. So you want to know how to get 96 using 9? Simple. You have to divide 96 by 9. 
and that will give you a weird number which means you can't get 96 you from 9 so we are not going to consider that we know that we're gonna jump to the other number how about 8 can we use 8 to get 96 so I'm looking at my multiplication table of 8 um, here 8 is right here and uh, I'm looking for 9 yes right over here so 12 12 times 8 is 96 12 times 8 12 times 8 is 96 when you write it down like that you see on top you have the 8 in the bottom you also have the 8 they will cancel out you're gonna end up with 9 divided by 12 only now let's write that down here 9 divided by 12 that's where I am right now you see now I changed the number this 9 is a small number 12 is kind of small number so it's uh, simple to me but it's not the lowest term can we divide this further for example 9 can we what gives us 9 3 times 3 can we write down 9 as multiplication yes 3 times 3 will give us 9 so is it possible to see 3 times what gives us 12 that is 4 yes i can get rid of the trees i'm gonna end up with 3 divided by 4 only so i just simplify a big number 72 divided by 96 that's equal to 3 divided by 4. now let's look at the other one 36 divided by 48 36 divided by 48 so let's look at 36 well I know by heart 6 times 6 is 36 so I'm just gonna go with that 6 times 6 is 36 now 6 times 6 times what is 48 is it possible if not I can simplify with the 6 but let's see if it is possible uh, let's look at the multiplication table 48 from the 6 6 they are here 48 is right here so that means 8 <coughs> sorry 8 times 6 8 times 6 will give me 48 so let's write that down 6 times 8 8 times is 6 is the same thing so numbers 6 6 they will cancel out what i will have here is 6 divided by uh, 8 well this those are small numbers so i'm happy with that but that's not the lowest term because we can divide further how let's change the color here 6 let's write it down here 6 can be written down as 3 times 2 and 8 can be written down as 4 times 2 in this case 2's will cancel out you're gonna end up with 3 divided by 4 so now you have the basics and I'm just gonna go and do few more exam 4 more examples here please be patient and now let's talk about this one again 36 divided by 60 so i still want to use the same six times six six times six see if that will work six times what gives me 60 that's 10. so this will cancel out i'm going to end up with six divided by 10 but i know i can divide both numbers by two so six three times two is six and 10 5 times 2 is 10 so cancel those twos 3 divided by 5 is the answer 8 
over 20. 8. So I can get 8 with 2. 2 times 4 gives me 8. And now I'm going to try 2 again. 2 times 10 gives me 20. 2 cancels out. And now I'm going to end up with 4 divided by 10. And I can write that down as 2 times 2. Write that down as 2 times 5. They will cancel out. I'm going to end up with 2 divided by 5. Now, if you like, pause the video. Take a look at this. Okay. Now I'm going to do it differently. 8. I'm going to write that down as 4 times 2 and 20. Can I get that with 4 times something? Yes, 5. So 4s will cancel out. I'm going to end up with 2 divided by 5. That's the same answer and it's a shorter version as well. So the bigger number you use to multiply, the easier, the lowest term, it becomes available. So let's go ahead and talk about this one. 144 and 96. I know the multiplication table, so if you are not good at that, you need to study about that. But using my multiplication table skill, I know that 12 times 12 gives you 144. At the same time, 12 times 8 gives you 96 as well. So 12, they will cancel out. I'm going to end up with 12 divided by 8, which is not the lowest term. I can simplify further. I need to use a big number. And what is the half of 8? 4. Let's use 4. It is possible. 4 times 3 over 4 times 2. They will cancel out. And I'm going to end up with 3 divided by 2. Last two more examples. Let's change the color here. This is very straightforward. 3 times 1 divided by 3 times what gives me 21? 7. Cancel the 3's. We're going to have just 1 divided by 7. Now the last example is this. 7 over 71. How can I get 7? It's just 7 times 1 divided by 7 times what gives me 71. Look at the multiplication table if you like. You can use your calculator if you like. But you won't get a regular number. The multiplication by 7 will give you 71. It's not going to work. So what does that mean? It means... This is already in lowest term. This is as simple as it gets. The question is the answer. So, now it's time for you to practice.